The race to implement the constitutional gender principle ended prematurely yet again. As somehow out of the 349 National Assembly members, only 212 could find time to show up for work today, denying the House the numbers required to pass the bill. It doesn't require a rocket science that we are not 233. I seek your indulgence to allow for the deferment of replying and voting on the second reading until such a time as the House Business Committee shall decide having consulted widely. That the consequences of what he has asked you to do may result in this bill dying. There's a difference between deferring and withdrawing. Let us dispense off with this bill today, Mr. Speaker, and let the 33 come here. If it is defeated by a vote, that is up to them. If it is defeated by a vote, it's not our business, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, let us suspend the House for 10 minutes. Attempts to have Speaker Justin Muturi adjourn the House for a few minutes to whip MPs were thwarted. In the course of this particular sitting, we see if we can devise a strategy to bring in more members uh, to be able to move forward. <laughs> Kuna sura ya ra anatupatia meno na ndani ya roho hatujui kama wako na sisi. Male MPs opposed to the Duale bill now planning to bring another constitutional amendment to have the one third minimum required membership for each gender scrapped altogether for elective seats. To propose an amendment to the constitution to remove the two thirds gender requirement on elective positions. However, MPs opposed to the deferment now accuse the House leadership of low-key lobbying that denied the House requisite numbers. Honorable Dwale did not have this thing in his heart. And I'm saying he is an embarrassment to the women of Kenya. He should resign and leave way to another leader of majority who believes in the cause of women. But if it will not pass, we are going to prepare women of Kenya for the next four years. And I can assure you, we'll be seeing something different in 2022. I know that my brothers have changed, the mood of the house is good, and we will be able to raise the numbers in February. ODM leader Raila Odinga and Wiper Boskalonzo Musioka attended today's session only to leave parliament presence a disappointed duo. The bill sought to preserve special seats for either gender that will not have achieved one third of representation. It is a constitutional moment that the National Assembly has missed today following the deferment of voting on the two thirds gender bill. And if the numbers remain constant on February, then it means what simply has happened today is postponement of defeat of the bill. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.